Formula One in Brazil, it rarely fails to disappoint. And once more, we've had a sensational weekend with one man showing he was a cut above the rest in Sao Paulo. Lewis Hamilton had the most difficult of starts to a weekend and the finest of finishes, taking victory and of course, taking a big win to reduce the gap between he and Max Verstappen in the Drivers' Championship. Let's break down everything from the Brazilian Grand Prix here at GP Fans. But before we do that, just a reminder, hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with everything we do at the channel. But now, let's get into all of the fallout from Sao Paulo. Lewis Hamilton completed an unbelievable weekend, coming from 10th on the grid at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix to win in Brazil and reduce the gap between he and championship leader Max Verstappen to just 14 points. Hamilton's weekend, of course, took a blow when a irregularity with his DRS system on Friday caused the stewards in Brazil to disqualify him from the first main session of the weekend, sending him to the back of the grid for Saturday's sprint qualifying. After making his way to fifth place after the 100 km session on Saturday afternoon, a five-place grid penalty for an engine change that weekend dropped the British driver to 10th on the grid for Sunday's race. But Hamilton was already on the heels of race leader Max Verstappen by the beginning of lap 32. After a couple of close corner tussles, the Mercedes' pace shone through, overtaking his championship rival on lap 59 and never looking back to take a vital win that keeps his championship hopes alive for the season. Verstappen held on for second with Valtteri Bottas in the other Mercedes finishing third. Sergio Perez in the other Red Bull came in fourth but took the fastest lap of the race on the final lap to secure a vital additional point for his team in the constructors' battle. The Ferrari of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz finished 5th and 6th respectively, which aids their fight for 3rd in the Constructors' Championship, with McLaren, who could only land Lando Norris in 10th spot in the points after Danny Ricciardo's retirement earlier in the race. Pierre Gasly and the Alpines of Esteban Ocon and Fernando Alonso finished 7th, 8th and 9th to wrap up the top 10. Coming into this weekend, I never ever thought that we would be able to close the gap like we have today. And these things that just kept going against us, but I just think it really shows to everyone, just never give up, said Hamilton, speaking after the race. Whatever you're facing, you've just got to keep pushing, keep fighting, and never, never stop fighting. That is how I approached this weekend, drawing inspiration from all around. But it feels like the first win, because I don't feel like I've had a win for a long time. After the race, Hamilton revealed a history lesson from his father, Anthony, had spurred him on after a difficult opening to the weekend. I was pushing as hard as I could from last on the grid and then another five place penalty, added Hamilton. I think it was the hardest week I've had. But my dad reminded me of 2004 when I was in Formula 3 in Bahrain and I started last and finished 10th and then I finished first. This one's for my dad. Elsewhere, Max Verstappen has vowed Red Bull will bounce back after playing second fiddle to Mercedes for pace throughout a tough weekend in Brazil for the constructor. Mercedes dominated the track across all sessions despite their technical failings that forced the stewards in Brazil to take action on Saturday against Lewis Hamilton. But even with one arm tied behind their back, Toto Wolff's team were far superior compared to the Red Bulls of Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen and although Verstappen took the lead of the race from second on the grid after the first corner on Sunday, the Dutch driver couldn't hold on to his lead and hold off Hamilton in the final few laps. Speaking after the race, the championship leader vowed that his team would bounce back after a tough weekend in Sao Paulo. We tried everything we could today, of course. It was a good battle, but at the end we just missed a little bit of pace. We gave it all today and it was a lot of fun, said Verstappen. We still have a good points lead. Today was a bit of damage limitation on a weekend that it was a bit difficult for us, but I'm confident that in the next races, we will bounce back. Mercedes now have a 11 point lead in the constructor standings over Red Bull, but with three races to go, the Milton Keynes based team will feel they can still find a way to take both titles perhaps by the end of the season in Abu Dhabi. 
So what did you make of the added pace of Mercedes this weekend in Brazil? Did it surprise anybody considering that we were all giving this track as a Red Bull favourite going into the weekend? Let us know your thoughts on the race in the comments section below. And of course, your driver of the day as well. What a stellar job by the two Ferraris, just quietly getting on with things to help secure that third spot in the constructors battle. And of course, hit the subscribe button down below for all of our debrief in the next few days from a fine race in Brazil. And of course, as we build up to Qatar as well, here at GP Fans.